So then I went back down to Belgium um, after that, and I was very excited. I think Belgium is definitely, definitely my favorite country out of the two. Um, I just, I just love the feeling that is down there, and um, and so turnout is another very small, very small town. Um, you know, there's a giant square in the middle with with the cathedral and, and then all the different shops in a square around it. And, um, and so fun fact about turnout is that's where the playing cards were invented. Um, so there's a whole like playing card museum and, um, and so they, uh, they take pride in that too. They have around Christmas time is the t there's, um, you know, carnivals and parades and and they have these ginormous statues um they're like made out of fabric so they're not like rock statues or anything but these giant like figures of like the king and the queen and the, and the jack and like the joker and stuff and they're around the town and um and so it's just this the little town is just very fun and and very lively um, and so in turnout, there's just a little branch and, and that is a very solid, strong branch. And I, I love and admire the determination of those members, um, for the time it takes them to travel, to get to turnout. Because again, this is a little town where you have to travel, you know, several, several minutes, um, either by bus um, to get to to the church building, um, and uh, and so we we had a lot of fun with all of our many bus rides and um, and our ways of of having to travel, um, but it turned out was was a a life changing area for me. Um, was probably the hardest area for me personally. Um, I, every missionary hits this spot where they, they just, they just question and, and it's very personal. It's very different for each individual. Um, but, you know, I, I don't sugarcoat it. I won't sugarcoat it. It was hard and I was ready to go home. I remember, you know, laying on the floor by the front door, you know, with my jacket and like my boots and everything. And I was all, you know, on the outside, ready to go and just on the floor and, and crying. And, and right then my mission president called and, and he's like, Sister Young, what are you doing? And I was like, President, do you want the honest answer or do you want to hear what you want to <laughs> hear? And he's such a sweet man and he, he's like, oh, give me the honest answer. And I was like, President, I am laying on the floor by the front door crying. <laughs> and he just like, oh, Sister Young, why are you crying? And, and he, I, I just... I just opened up to him and told him that I just didn't want to go out and work, that I, you know, had all these feelings and was just struggling and, and just didn't know what to do. And, and, and so he's like, okay, and we had a nice little conversation and he's like, okay, well, go out and, and just get this last hour of work in and then you can come home and go to bed. And I was like, okay, like, okay. And so we did. And, we got on our bikes and started biking and it was raining and so I got out there and I was like oh it's dark and it's raining and I just want to go back inside and we kept going and we decided to go look up a referral that we had received that we were having a really hard time getting in contact with so we finally went in and he answered he was home and we were having a hard time hearing him through the intercom and so we we went upstairs to talk to him and, and he was, he was this man from China 
and he had met the missionaries while he was on a business trip in, in London and the missionaries took him to their family history center or some some sort of visitors center that was focused on the family um, and that really touched him and he was living in in Belgium for a year or so for business and he had no background or understanding of Christianity whatsoever and so our first lesson was was very pure and very raw just breaking it down piece by piece very simply so he could understand and and he just talked about his wife and his son and and how much he wanted you know to be with them and how much it meant to him to have his wife and his son with him and and so it was a very it was a very special special lesson and we asked him you know as all missionaries do but we felt we felt that we needed to to ask him that if he came to know if these things were true if he would be baptized and and he's like well it'll probably take me a while but like I will like if I understand it then then I will and I was just so happy I was just I just felt like I was flying and we left and it was still raining and dark and we got on our bikes and we're biking home and because now we were, we were at his house for like an hour and a half and so like we were past curfew and and so I just felt like I was flying and I made a whole like cheesy little song about how he was going to get baptized because I was so excited and um and so there were just several moments like that of of just complete personal torture and, and torment it was just so dark and it hurt and you just didn't know what you were doing and and just really wedding ready and willing to to go home but then as soon as you finally as soon as I finally got the courage to go out one thing after another little things like that happened and and we found another another young girl from Africa Teresa and you know, we had that address because it was the home of of a less active or a former investigator. And we went to go look her up and she led us upstairs and and it wasn't who we were looking for, but immediately she let us in and and we sat and we talked with her and, and she was so excited that we were there. Like she took her picture and sent it home to her, her family in Africa. And she went and got her Bible that she sleeps with under her pillow. And, and the next time we went, she, she told us that she'd been sleeping with the Book of Mormon and the Bible under her pillow. And, um, and it was just, it was just incredible to see that that you may not have the personal strength or the personal confidence to to go out and do, you know, what is asked of you, and, and it may take you a long time to actually get out the door. Um, but when you walk out the door, that the Lord is going to make that time of, of use and, and valuable. He's not going to just just let it be wasted time.